This is the eight foot tall. This is the Jenny eight foot tall prototype inflatable polar bear with candy cane. Uh, I got this off of Robert Beard for actually, I, I got it for free off of him. He just gave it to me. Um, I, I want to say it was kind of like a trade, but it wasn't at the same time. Um, essentially, I gave him something, and um, anyways, I gave him something, and um, a little bit later he gave me this. So I guess you could say it was kind of like a trade, but like it wasn't at the same time. It was just, we'll just call it a Christmas present, okay? So. I got this off of Robert Beard, and this is a prototype. Um, when he first sent a picture of this to me, I, you know, I fell in love with it. I, I really love it. It's just one of those super classic designs. You know, there's not much to it, but that's what makes it really classic. Like it's just, it's just a really good design. Um, now, as far as the year, I'd like to say this is probably 2006, but I'm not 100% sure. It does not say in the box. Um, but as you might notice, this is a prototype, but it doesn't have a white box. Um, it's very rare for you know for this for you know it not to it, it, for it to have like a produced box like this, but some prototypes do have produced boxes like this. But typically the produced boxes such as this were made for customers. Um, but yeah, this this was I mean, you can tell by the, the box art, and I, I went on the back to make sure this was supposed to be sold at Kmart, so, and I would say definitely 2006. Um, now if I take, let me show you guys this right here. You can see the prototype label right there. Uh, thankfully, they did not put the prototype label um, over the tape, because that's how it is on Scooby, and so um, I had to flip the box around and open the and open it from the bottom because I didn't want to cut the the label on it. I could have, but I felt like doing that would have made a uh, community of prototype collectors very unhappy. So I left it alone and uh, uh, just you know opened it from the bottom. So I'll go ahead and get this inflated for you. Uh, we did inflate this at at his house. I was there uh, for about two days and you know we just had a great time. So it was really fun seeing him again. Um, and Robert is the same guy he got Scooby off of too. So go ahead and open this up. Um, this was brand new, but you know, it's obviously tested. He's not one of those people that just buys something and, and uh, leaves it and just leaves it in the box. Okay, I'm stuck there for a second. So I'm glad he's, he actually tests this type of stuff. Cause I, I don't know. I, I, it's just for me, like, I, I never understood how you could buy something and not open it up, so I'm glad that he isn't like that. So it comes with, see, this is what's throwing me off. I want to say 2006, but this has, like, the twisty stakes and everything like that. Now, uh, classics, uh, a lot of classics have the twisty stakes, like, no, really, no matter what year, but this just comes in that different pack. Like, it comes in, like, a, like an 04 pack, but I'm still... I'm saying this is probably like 2005, 2006, somewhere around that area. And it does have a deluxe base fan. Um, like the kind of base fan, or the kind of, the kind of fan that's used on uh, metal base fans, but instead this has a plastic base, so it's one of those fans. Um, he was also nice enough to put the lights back in it. Um, he takes them out because the lights do get hot and it's, it's always a risk to be, it's, um, some people think it's a risk to wear it out, so he took it out just to be sure. Because, you know, if it, if it does wear out, then, well, I mean, you can't really do anything about that. Like, it's a prototype, so you're never going to get back. Unless Jamie releases it, which, again, this is what? This is, this would be like 13 years old, so no, they wouldn't. It's very unlikely. Now, we did check this at his house. And, oh, well, I think it's the camera. We did check this at his house, and I, I mean, I saw zero thin spots on this thing. I mean, that's, that's incredible for something this old. And look, the colors it has, like, the green is perfect, the red is perfect. Like, I mean, I saw nothing. Like, with every classic, typically, there's, there's like a thin spot or two, but literally, I saw nothing on this guy. And he's going to touch the ceiling because he, uh, because my ceilings are only seven feet tall. Fix 
off, sorry. It starts with wood. So. And there he is. Let me make sure he's in. Oh, sorry. Definitely not in camera's view. So there he is. It's a very nice and playable. Um, nothing's hand painted on it. Thankfully, it's all screen printed. So if I ever did use this, um, there's no risk of anything chipping off, which I don't think I'll use this one. Or if I do, it'll be like on Christmas Day, like I did with Scooby. Um, but yeah, you can see he's eight feet tall. His hat makes it eight feet tall, but I mean, this thing wants to explode. But I mean, you can push on it because it is a classic. But I mean, it's for a classic, this thing inflates super, super well. Like, it should have no problem with it. Um, it does have metal uh, pediments on the side, and um, I'll give you guys an up close shot of it. There it is. And I, I was I was I was worried that the red might be worn out, but I mean you can see like that's that that's perfect. The kind of fabric that this thing has, it has that silky type really thin coated fabric so it's super soft but the coating is still on it so it's 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 truly amazing how this isn't worn out and i mean i felt inside the fabric like it's not sticky in the slightest like it is absolutely perfect and it has the spring of holly at the top you know it's the stuffed hollies which i love and around the back of it it doesn't really have any well it obviously doesn't have anything on the back of it but you know this, the scarf goes all the way around Again, this was this was back when you know the the scarf wasn't actually part of the inflatable; like it was actually its own thing that was just stitched uh, stitched around, and um, you don't see that nowadays anymore, which really makes absolutely no sense. I mean, I, I can't imagine you're, you're saving that much fabric when you're doing it. Um, let's see the hands, and I'll, I'll turn off the lights for you guys real quick. Lights up tremendously well it has a light and i think it has a light in the, either it has a light in each shoulder or it just goes straight up but i know that with this one um there the, the lights are hung at a couple spots so the lights are hung from the sides right there and then um right there across the ears so it's it's a really that's how a lot of classics are so it's it's, it's the way they have the lights held up is, you know, it's it's different and it, it seems like a lot of extra work, but I'm not complaining. The, the lights stand up good. I mean, in, in the wind, they don't rock as much. Like, they're pretty, they're pretty stationary, which is perfect. I hate when, you know, it's windy out and you can just see the light string just smacking back and forth across the inflatable, which end up, which does break the light. It doesn't, like, you know, break the, the um, glass, but it, you know, it, it, it um, just makes the light stop working. Um, but yeah, candy cane, totally fine. There's no air coming out anywhere. I love, I love that it's not just, you know, a regular candy cane. Like this is, I love how it's red and green. I absolutely love that for some reason. Um, you don't see a lot of inflatables like that. So this is, it's different and it's just such a classic piece. And I, I absolutely love it. Uh, I'll show you the scarf has the shredded fabric at the end which i love I, I i remember saying that like the 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 witch sisters video how i absolutely love when they do like the shredded fabric for some reason i don't know and for some reason i don't know why but around this era with the with the white fabric it kind of looks like it has like drag marks like it, i'll show you guys like you guys like like these lines that's not that's not worn out lines that's like I don't know, it's just like the way the coating was applied. Because you can't feel any air coming out or anything. Like, that's not worn spots. And it's like all around the inflatable. I mean, like, it's 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 all over the inflatable. Like, obviously, if it was, you know, worn spots, I mean, this thing would be on the ground because it's all over. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys the box. I'll give you guys a good look at it. It's a classic Kmart box. Trim at home, that's how you know it is. Um, Target. Now, he didn't do that. The original owner did that. I, or, I, th I think this is third hand. Well, this would be fourth hand at this point if it was third hand. Um, yeah, they crossed it off, so I have, we have no idea. Oh, here. You can, you can see they did a poor job crossing it out. 
if you guys can't make it, I'll tell you. It, it was gonna be sold for either 39 or 89. No, that's 39. 39.99. 39.99 at, at, at Kmart. That's that's awesome. And I'll get I'll show you guys the prototype label. Airblown snowman. That's it's definitely not a snowman. It's a polar bear. Uh, oh, okay, 2005. My my apologies. Yeah, so it's 2005. And the item number is one six nine nine seven zero zero. So if you guys want to go on, you know, uh, Worth Point, you can probably find a picture of it someplace. Uh, factory, I think it's it, S A. So I don't know. I, I want to know what the what I would do. It said snowman with something, and it says large. So I don't know, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. That is the two thousand five. Eight foot tall inflatable uh, polar bear with candy cane. I re I absolutely love this thing, and I, I did see you guys what you guys wanted to see um, as far as the ones in my display because there there were a couple that I had that I just hadn't gotten a review on yet. So I will be doing those soon. And I saw that we hit two thousand subscribers. I am psyched. Uh, I promise the two thousand subscribers um, giveaway will be coming really really soon. I already have the item that I'm giving away. Um, I know it's one that every, literally everybody likes. It's it's one of the most, you know, well-known um, Halloween designs out there. It is a Halloween one. Christmas is over, so Halloween's the next one that comes up, so I figured why not, why not give away a Halloween one. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed, um, and, yeah, I will see you guys next time.